We don't come back again, and this time around, we look at work of art um, drawing. We look at we get people that actually we they use skill we they get they use talent we God give them. Now for able look person and draw them exactly, or we look, look a particular picture and draw that picture they exactly like I did. And now one of such person we can interact with today for find out more about the works. How long we don't need one, how we don't need one, and waiting this mean for um, art business in a salon. Um, good afternoon. Yes, sir. Afternoon. Okay, what are you doing? What are you? What are you? I know you're me for a long, long time. I know you're doing me for what are you? What are you? What are you? Um, now, tell me something about you, say. Maybe tell me something well, about your background. I was born here in Freetown, born and bred in Sierra Leone, in a back street. Uh, I grew up in Akono. I attended primary school, secondary school, then I came to me upper six form uh, St. Edwards. But this was something I've been doing. Oh, St. Edwards, St. Edwards. I'm celebrating this year. Why don't you go back to you? No, I've not been there actually. You know, oh, okay. you know, I've not been updated. Okay. So, but this is not something I do from small one in primary school. Then I grew up with them. And I decided to. It was self taught. Nobody not teach me, nobody not learn me. I learned for myself coloring everything wow. and as you see we get a lot of talented boys in a free town but the opportunity not this i mean this will not be doing a school safe we like them i know ever I, 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 I take the exams i mean at the first post in a secondary school we do this i mean gce okay there was no teaching. one Wow! <laughs> Teaching not been there, uh, classes not been there for art. I decided and uh, like they asked me twice, you really want to do I said yes. Because it was easy because uh, during GCE, they give you the questions like uh, before time for you to study what you're gonna paint. You get it from a history, a story, then you paint it. So then I can't free time, can't continue my education. I go to America, University of Minnesota, just to get small techniques or whatever. But it was self-taught. No school, not teach me coloring, nothing. I mean, it creates me own. But the opportunity not being a Sierra Leone, because you know, go go to any shop, forget canvas, which is the material used to paint on the canvas, as you see it. Okay, it's a canvas. Canvas, 100% canvas. Okay. We don't have oil paint, professional oil paint. You cannot find it in Sierra Leone. Professional painting brushes, you know, they get an air. Even the professional pencil, we then call Stadler. The B, B1, B2, B3, and so on. You know, they get an air Sierra Leone. This is all like in Guinea. I get them from Guinea, or are the other through Amazon. Very, very, very serious. Very the serious. more than serious. 
we get a lot of boys them upcoming boys we love art we then do art we can contact me send me them sketches make a rectify for them show them the fault teach them online i can do that always for some boys then i can supply them sometimes if i buy from guinea i can do them let them go so for what do you think is the problem? Why we cannot get some of them products here in the salon? Is it that we know they concentrate too much on exactly. the Exactly. I don't think I don't think say that they concentrate because at one time during the former regime, uh, when our former president went to the UN, and then he was met with a lady, a Spanish lady, that said she wants to come to Sierra Leone to revive the arts and craft in Sierra Leone. She needs recommendation and I was the one that was recommended to her. She came specially to Freetown to meet with me. We met. She took some of my paintings back to the States. But well, nothing nothing came out of it. My aim now, as I proposed to the former government and I'll do now to this government, if they can facilitate an art institution in Freetown for those that need to learn whatever. I'm prepared to offer my expertise free of charge. Okay, uh, Mr. Fouad, we, we, one way expect is on time, you for don't like start our day, like get an institution where like, you would it's not, it's not easy. It's not it's not something you can just do by yourself. You need you need a push. Even though I can start somewhere but you need a push to complete the project. So at the moment you get any any body with it again or you get I get a few of them if I did them online they can send to me on Facebook say messenger or WhatsApp say look at this what do you think? What do you think? I can they, I they help some. Some some good artists in there so we even I can help for some materials for we not get we not get materials. Don't okay. just look at some of the paintings and maybe um, get some small explanation. Okay. Start with this. Okay. Okay. Now you know during rainy season when these small boys can be playing around in the rain and so on. So I captured that and I said let me do a painting out of it. The small local boy, neighborhood or whatever, playing. You can even see the color of the water, which is like muddy and so, so on. So, for do this, what it take for do this? Like, how long you would take for do um... If I concentrate on a painting like this, well, three weeks is maximum. Three weeks is maximum if I concentrate. But sometimes it takes longer because it's an on and off something. You don't just sit down and say, let me do this and finish it. It's an on and off. But the most I can do with the painting if somebody like commissions me to do a painting this size, it can be done within three weeks. Yeah, and um, that brings me to the question. Um, who's, who's big contract you don't get or commission that you don't get for yeah, projects I, I mean, I was once given uh, by the Guarantee Trust Bank when they first opened, I did about 23 paintings which are all based on African conceptions. I did about 23 for them. I did for a few offices like client travel agency and so on. I've done for people like lawyers. I've done for the former head of state, present head of state, his wife, his daughter. I've done. But I get commission mostly from lawyers to do paintings. So how important paintings can be? I mean to people then? How important? To me, it's my passion. To some people, they love it but they cannot do it. Some artists it's their passion too, but they cannot afford. They cannot afford. They cannot afford to get the actual materials. One, maybe financially. Two, maybe lack of material. And then you say work of art, paintings that are very expensive. Fast food too. Yes, I say um, paintings that are you say very expensive compared to food too, anything. So like, how expensive some of them paintings here? Not in Sierra Leone. Not in Sierra Leone. This, I, I promise you that this one, as you see, it's all canvas, pure oil paint, professional oil paint. This can be sold abroad for eight hundred dollars and more. Here, if you see two hundred dollars, it's too expensive. But for people who know art, for the lawyers that have been taking from me, they appreciate the work. They appreciate the price. There is no doubt about that. So like um, now people can get them start this celebration. Yeah. They'll just come watch you know, watch your um, um, paintings there. Now people can get start this celebration, so man can get wedding anniversary. Yeah. If in case again say if you're also able to for maybe do them, then commission you. Definitely. I'm open to all 
type of work. Who is interested can get in touch with me. There is no problem. Explain what this concept. This one was during the Ebola. It's, a, it's from a real picture, live picture. I decided to do it to bring out the pain in those that were affected by Ebola. This is, a, this is actually from Ebola. We see what the Yeah. Sometimes I can take pictures like of fishermen. I do the painting. If I see a nice view, I can take the picture, work on it, expand it, and do it my own way. And I have some here on my phone. Okay. I will share with you. And and people wonder why you decide to remain in a saloon, take into consideration you get other side you will go at the wall, we like art and paintings. I mean, they make a lot of money, a lot of yeah, cash. Yeah. I've been I've been to to the states. I've been to London. I've lived a long period of time in London, in the States and everything. But I prefer staying in Sierra Leone. This is my land. This is my country. I was born here. My children were born here. And my father was born here. It's a family something that the culture of Sierra Leone is our culture. And just let me know these concepts. Yeah, this was taken from a life picture. Wow. Yeah, and this is a painting. Also picture this. Also this picture is a imagine. painting. This is a painting from a life picture of them they were walking and i stopped my car and i asked if i could take their picture they said yes i just wanted the concept of it you know but i didn't do the same phases and so i i did what i had to do to make changes <laughs> so i can do that much you know well it's true imagination so you, as an artist you get forget good imagination yeah this is all the soap on the body the water a reflection on the water everything this is so how in I case work. you want to get posting for able to do something like this, yeah. how long do you think you will take a posting? It? it depends on him understanding what he is learning. If he fast for catch up, then he can learn in no time. But if he be say it difficult for one thing most artists use greed to do their paintings. I do freehand. Okay, freehand. I know they ever use greed for me painting. Wow. Always freehand, you can see in the back. You cannot see any greed or anything in the painting. So why 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 do you use greed? Because I'm a <laughs> yeah, <I'm professional. laughs> and I know the Alec do things to perfection. I know oh, okay. do something, you know. Oh, okay. This also was the live picture which I took of a lady on my way coming from Guinea. I stopped by and requested. I just got the but that's not her face. I I chose the face I wanted with the key. So in terms of Doing the artwork, yeah, so drawing and all, all other things, yeah. like the work we do. So, so. which are the challenge them when you go through, or which are some of the most difficult things they will do in terms of doing doing the work? Because you need a lot of, a lot of, a lot of concentration. For I do have that 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 concept there. I get and then at my mind, I get a lot of imaginations. Okay, look, but, look, see, yeah. but the problem, as I say, is the most difficult part, which is actually getting materials on time. Sometimes. Like during the Corona period, it was difficult because there were no flights, nothing, and I was stranded. Like I couldn't get any any proper material. Sometimes I have to buy, if you know, the linen material, linen. Okay. I can prime it with white color. I have to shave it to get that smooth layer before I can work. But it doesn't give you a good. So you ever do like exhibition or something? No, I've been asked a few times, but I've never. Do you think of that? Think of that? I, I prefer like I want to do my own exhibition on my own. Okay. Okay. Then if I can be like among others later, I don't mind. But my first exhibition, I, I had an invitation. I will send a letter to you from uh, Florida, which is the Museum of uh, African Heritage. Okay. Somebody sent some of my pictures, and then they were interested. They sent me an invitation to go and display my work in America. Okay. Why refuse? Why? I wanted to start from here. Okay. And talking about um, Africa, when you see and see most of you concept them na indigenous African background issue and I mean African yes. look, there's no yes. white man. No, no, no. I, I I want to promote my own culture, which is the African culture. I'm not so you get, any, you get any benefits because what most is you say as he's a white man. It, 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 it draws the attention of others, mostly like in the western side, they love this type of work, they appreciate it more. So I prefer sticking to, I can do different paintings when I'm commissioned, 
But like, if I want to do something for my own, then I prefer staying, sticking to the African person. So in terms of um, money, almost at the highest way possible ever pay for in painting. Oh, <laughs> what's it? Now it's hundred dollars. Okay. hundred dollars okay. only, yeah. So you do this full time, or you get as long as order. I get there. I came with about twenty eight paintings from Guinea. Okay. This is what is left. On a Guinea, you paint, do you paintings? I did do one here, I did do one Guinea. Oh, but okay. na Guinea more, I gave me my studio. Oh, okay. Secondly, because even like uh, the former minister, uh, Musa Tarawali, he bought five paintings from me. Okay. Yeah. Some other lawyers, like uh, a, a well known lawyer, Mara, he bought paintings from me. He bought paintings for another lawyer, for two, three lawyers, to give them as gifts. They appreciate so and they get in touch all the time. So, um, Fouad, if me want to do a painting, like I want commission you for do them. Almost for you, own me and so. Like I want. It's all. It's all. Let me bother and let me bother with 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 the camera so I want to make some fine nice paintings. One. It, it all depends on the size. Okay. I always go with the sizes. Okay. You know. So in terms of um, you Louis. start from three three hundred dollars and up okay. in the own okay. in dollars anyone. Okay. Because I always give you a hundred percent copy of what you want. Wow. I go like most of my friends call me the perfectionist. Because I always do my paintings and I make sure they are perfect. I don't want to see mistakes. So I wonder if you ever do a, a portrait of yourself. Me own? Yes. Yes, I've done it. Okay. In 1998, I've done my own portrait. Wow, I will look for it. Yeah, I do have it. Uh, I'll still get your number and send them to you. Okay. Now I've done, these are just examples of people like life portraits. Portrait uh, of people okay. that I've done, you know. We understand if I'm with Nasa, you. I'm his uncle. Okay. <laughs> you never do your painting? Nasa? Yeah. I did this painting once when he got married with his wife, but then moving around, and his daughter also. Okay. But moving around, he misplaced everything. So, what message you get for people um, in terms of them who go for their skill there? So. What you mean, just say Especially young ones. Yeah, like just saying, Kirio. For the, the one they will lack painting, then lack art, then lack for sketch. You know, not give up. Start from anywhere where you will start and continue. And you know, get me page on Facebook, which is for other you, my official page. Anybody need help in any way, message me. You get paintings for me, I go to help you with, call me. You get sketches where you go and I help you for sure. You say this mistake there, this there. I'm not perfect, but I can able to teach. You know, contact me and I'm willing to help. Secondly, if only somebody will think about opening a store to get all the materials we need, it will be easier. Then the government to look into my plea, which I've been pleading with for the past years that let's have an institution. But to this, I'm just saying for the first time, I might schedule a meeting to go and meet the Minister of Education and make that proposition to him. I proposed that to the previous government and I proposed it to this present government when I went to give the paintings I did for His Excellency retired Brigadier Momo, uh, Julius sorry, Madabio. Julius Madabio and I explained everything to him and he was very much interested in my work and he was interested that I do my exhibition here in Sierra Leone and he is willing to give a helping hand. But then the corona started and then I couldn't meet with him. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much too. Thanks a lot. I appreciate. My Afro. It will find for rights to be part. And every day, it's in a every way. When things get you off, I win and run away. I'm going to do my way. Say we forget food, family for look good My hustlers what's good, getting money not the mood The street calling, nigga trying to get paper As soon as you get rich, buddy go why help you spend now? You can make her any side, you no need to put to And this is a street ante me in Opo to Brother friend money not to party, jump up at the pass I like it party, hey boo I'm out of hustle for the paper each and every day 